Grouping elements is a common requirement in all types of applications and PixieJS provides containers specifically for this purpose. First, we'll import the container class. Next, we'll create a container and add it to the stage. Then, we'll create a sprite and add it to the container this time instead of directly to the stage. That done, we'll create another sprite and add it to the container as well. As you can see, the sprites overlap, which is expected. However, the key point I want to highlight is that the container's size matches the size of the largest component inside it. Now, if we reposition one of the sprites, the container's size will be updated, taking into account the space created after the translation of the sprite. Of course, we can apply geometric transformations to the container as a whole, just as we did with individual components. The point to note here is that the coordinates of the sprite remain the same as they were before the translation. For instance, the coordinates of the first sprite remain at 0, 0 even though it is no longer positioned at that point. And this brings us to the concepts of local and global coordinates. When we refer to global, it is the coordinate system of the entire stage. On the other hand, a local coordinate system is relative to the individual component. When we add a sprite to a container and position it, we are using values relative to the local coordinate system of its parent, specifically the container. That said, in our example, when we repositioned the container, its coordinates changed. However, its children remained the same because they belong to a different coordinate system, which is the local coordinate system of the container. We can still obtain the position of a component relative to the global coordinate system by using the getGlobalPosition method.